Okay, in this tutorial I wanted to go over how to install a C++ compiler known as G++. You want to go to C... I'm not sure how I pronounce this exactly, but this website. This website is essentially a uh, kind of a small package manager community open source kind of deal. It will download this executable, which I have already, and then you can run this executable, select yes, um, and click next and go through the motions, blah blah blah. Click one of the mirrors, doesn't matter which one, it just says, you know, whichever one's closest or whatever. Now here, this is the most important page. In this page, you can pick which uh, packages you want to install. So, uh, just go to full, and then search for G++. And I've already installed this already. I thought I did. Apparently not. It's uninstalling and then uninstalling some other stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I already have it installed. Yes. So you go through that process and you figure out uh, what package you want and then once you have all that information there you can go to my computer and this is obviously only on a Windows machine I'm doing this for if you're on a Linux or Unix system then you probably already have a C++ compiler installed and you should check your path variable which you can go to the terminal and just type echo path this uh, program I downloaded is pretty cool because you can run this bat file and it opens up a terminal for you so you can write unix commands inside of here um, I go hello world hello world okay so you can do all that nonsense and uh, this is pretty neat because now all the stuff you installed is in this bin folder so all you have to do is go to your path um, and look for environment variables edits yeah that thing click that and then it should open up somewhere and then click environment variables and then you want to look for path you want to edit this one so uh, edit and then you just want to add another uh, record here and it's on Windows 10 only on other systems it looks a little bit different but then you just want to add another record here that um, tells you where uh, your thing is which an easy way to do that is just click here and then go to copy and go back over here and go to paste and then uh, hit the enter key and make sure it applies and then just click OK and then it'll add the new record to your thing so then uh, click OK to that click everything OK and close everything now you can open up your IDE I'm using code blocks you could also use Eclipse here and you can and you can come over here and it's giving me a warning saying you can't find the compiler so we're gonna make a new project real quick just to uh, prove that this will work um, new uh, project and console application we're gonna make this uh, blah 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 um, yes test for vid Uh, do a workspace set up somewhere? I don't know. Documents. Let's put it in the documents. That's fine. Uh, yeah. It's gonna ask what type of compiler you want. We're using this one. It actually knows that it's the common package manager or whatever in this in this ID. I'm not sure of in, in Eclipse, but. Uh, yeah, we're just going to click this, and it probably still won't work even after we click that. Um, so we can just uh, run, build, and run this. Um, yeah. So it can't find the compiler then, and it kind of tells you what to do there. So you go to settings, and then you go to compiler, and then you go to global compiler settings right here, and then you click on tool chain executables, and then obviously this isn't right. So we're going to. Uh, find our compiler again which is I have two versions of the thing that I was looking for so it's inside of here and then we're looking for uh, 
G plus plus dot exe and I'm just gonna put that for everything just to prove it works and uh, that's that's probably good enough so I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna click build and whatever and see if it does anything here did it work? Uh, uh. Target uses invalid compiler. Okay, it didn't work. Uh, whoops. Let's see. It's uh, I missed something. I'm going to here. Does it not exist there? Let's make sure that file actually exists in that area. So we're going to go to bin, and it might be called something else besides g++.exe. I was just uh, guessing. So, let's see. Uh, let's see. There's definitely a g++.exe there. Maybe it doesn't isn't doing what I think it is. And we'll select it again. See if it takes a full path. I thought it was getting the path for me. Okay, there it is. Open. Okay, it didn't change anything. Uh... Yes. Let's see what happens now. It works. Sweet. End of video. Thanks for watching.